Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up install Shizuku on your Android 14 devices without having to root them and without access to a computer and of course before we get started all the relevant links are in the description of this video. First thing we need to do is we need to enable developer options onto our Google Pixel 7 which is running Android 14. So you will go into settings. Once you are on the settings main page, you will go into about phone. Once you are in about phone, scroll down all the way, you will see something called build number. You need to tap on this seven times and you will get a toast notification that you are now a developer. In case you have a pin or password set up, you will have to enter that pin or password to enable developer options. Once you have enabled developer options, we will go back and then if you go into system and scroll down, you will see something called developer options. Let us go inside here and make sure that you have enabled USB debugging and of course on the pop up, we're going to select. OK, next thing is we need Shizuku. Where do you get Shizuku from? You need to go to the Google Play Store and herein we are going to search for the application Shizuku. So here it is this is shizuku and this is the one which we are looking for we are going to select install once we have installed shizuku successfully we are going to open the application and before you open it make sure you do have an active wi-fi connection so i'm going to select open and this is our main screen for shizuku you can see right now it is telling me shizuku is not running so we are going to go into pairing and here in notification options we are going to go into that and then we're going to enable notifications from shizuku then we can go back and it is telling us that we need to go into developer options and we need to enable wireless debugging and then we need to select pair device with pairing code so we're going to select developer options that will take us to developer options page here and if usb debugging got disabled make sure you enable it next up we are going to enable the toggle for wireless debugging on this pop-up window we're going to say always allow on this network and say allow once that is done you need to tap on wireless debugging so here it is we are on the page for wireless debugging now before we do anything else we need to go to our recents so we're going to swipe up and hold and then tap on the wireless debugging icon and say split screen then for the bottom one we are going to select shizuku so now it is searching for a pairing service while we are in wireless debugging we will go into pair device with pairing code so here it is this is our pairing code and you can see it is telling me that pairing service is found enter pairing code so our pairing code is 663094 so i'm going to access my notifications and i'm going to type in 663094 and then i'm going to select okay bam here it is pairing was successful you can start shizuku service anytime now and now if we go back into shizuku it is not running once again but we can get rid of this and let us try to start the shizuku service so here it is shizuku is telling me it is waiting for service and bam there it is you can see that shizuku is now running and there it is peeps that is how you enable set up and run shizuku on your android 14 devices without root and without access to a computer